So excited to have our next guest here. Um, Andy Billings who is the head of uh, profitable creativity, which we will dig deep into what that actually means at one of the world's largest gaming companies, also one of the, I think, oldest gaming companies around electronic arts. Gaming, to a very large extent, for, for the last 40 years, has pushed creativity. How do you keep people in that space? How do you keep them, like, how do you keep them creative? It's a good question. Maybe I talk about, uh, maybe say it like in three areas. Sure. Um, I think things that we do to be innovative and creative are to always keep people uh, being empathic with our players. Second thing would be always interactive in the design of our games, interactive with our players. And then thirdly, just to be deeply curious all the time about what we're doing and what's happening with our players. So we play a lot of uh, games uh, around making games and creativity and business models and our, our game makers, our creatives, see them as games. They don't see them as learning business, they just see them as one other algorithm, one other um, piece of code that they're, they're learning. And so they understand, I need to hit games which will pull in players and make them stick and so forth. And they also understand, I have certain metrics, certain dials that are my profitability dials, and I need to, uh, I need to get them up as well. So you're turning let me see if I get this right. You're turning your business into a game. Business into a game. And That's we, amazing. And a, and a game in the sense that um, there are no immediate bad consequences. I mean, we have, that's the real business, but right. we, we step aside from that and we have environments in which people will simulate their games and simulate their live services with kind of, kind of real to life kinds of data and they get the experience of how, what it's like to run the business. And that's how we help our creatives especially see what are the decisions that they make and then what are the consequences. But they're still in that play environment, yeah. so they're, they're actually not harming. The CFO doesn't get excited right. when we play these games. <laughs> I bet. You've suspended just a tiny bit of reality. You're just focusing on a few set of parameters, a few variables. Um, you know what kind of the win state is, and you're just having fun. You're just, um, and if people are laughing, Whatever environment it is, whether that's pharmaceuticals or manufacturing, if people have that kind of, I'm having fun, I'm experimenting, I'm laughing, uh, I, I think they'll be learning. Do you think we can become inno innovative? Can we teach being innovative? Yeah. Pascal, you weren't supposed to ask me any really hard questions. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you can teach innovation, but I know that you can teach leaders how to create the environment in which innovation will come out of people. So I think there's a zone between complacency or too comfortable, maybe that's sitting on a couch on a Sunday afternoon kind of zoned out, yeah. and the other end of the zone is, you know, maybe it's too much pressure, or I'm threatened in some way, I don't feel safe in some way. So in between that complacency and threat is a very narrow zone of uh, safety or security or it's a it's a beautiful zone for being creative, and if people are creative, enough ideas will come out that some of them will, will be applicable to your business and we'll call those innovations. What are your predictions for the, the future of gaming? Yeah. The future of gaming. Mm -hmm. I think I'll, you ask a lot of people today, are you a gamer, and they say no. Right. But, when I, but when I watch them, they have games on their mobile phones, they're interacting with people uh, digitally in ways that I would call gaming. So. I think we're going to redefine what gaming means, which is interacting, connecting, and having fun uh, in, a, in a digital space. And instead of a few billion people gaming, we'll have, who knows, maybe the whole world will be gaming.